Do you want to come here? Oh, we're so good, baby. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I need to tell a story. We got to start the vlog. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's video. What is today? Today. Welcome to today's video. Salem is here. We're in my apartment. And, ooh, I don't know how to even start this. Um, Today, right now, like 30 minutes, I'm going to go to Broadway. We're going to Broadway. We're going to go see Wicked, the musical. Like, I don't even know how to, like, do this. So we're gonna go see Wicked the musical and I wanted to bring you guys along because this is my first my first theater production since the pandemic Lovato and I Wicked is I have so many thoughts. Wicked was like the first show that really got me into theater and it was my first Broadway show. It wasn't my first touring show, but I, I saw it on tour, I saw it on Broadway like years ago when I was in like eighth grade. It's gonna be my first show that I go see after the pandemic Lovato. <laughs> uh, that's that's my favorite way to call it. So um, you're allowed to use it on your Hinge profiles, I do. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go see Wicked tonight and I wanted to bring you guys along because the thing with my channel that I really liked prior to the pandemic Lovato, the Panini Press, was the fact that I talked about theater and it was the fact that I talked about things that I really, really loved. I've realized since that because I haven't really been able to talk about it because it hasn't existed in a sense, I got a little sad and I got a little unmotivated. I just love theater and I am so excited that I now live in the city where I can literally go take a subway to go get drinks with my friends and then go see Wicked. Like, I I'm like sitting in a weird position so my legs are hurting but we're gonna do it because like the atmosphere is just like we out here so I'm about to head over to go to the Gershwin theater and we're gonna go see Wicked I'm actually going well I'm kind of going with my friend DJ he bought tickets like back in July before I moved and he posted on Facebook and I was like oh I want to go and he's like go get tickets they're kind of cheap and for Broadway they're kind of cheap for like normal existing not cheap Wicked opened two days ago so this is the third night that they've been open the fact that Glinda's gonna come down in a bubble and say it's good to see me, isn't it? She came down in a bubble, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna break down. So I didn't wear false eyelashes because I knew this was going to happen. So I'm gonna go meet up with DJ and his friend um, that is visiting New York. So we're gonna go meet up, go grab drinks, and then we're gonna go see Wicked. And I wanted to bring you guys along. Obviously, I can't like show you what happens in the theater, but I just wanted to do like a little cute little vlog thing where you see my apartment, you, you see my face because it's it's been a while. I'm sorry, we're, we're back, we're being consistent. I hope you guys liked the new, <laughs> I see. hope you guys liked the new intro. I was very proud of that. So. Let me show you the outfit. So to start out, we'll do a little bit of makeup look. I have this like, it's technically like a turquoise blue almost eyeshadow. I actually, it was from when I worked at Disney and I mixed it with a yellow eyeshadow from when I worked at Disney because they're really great colors. They're very pigmented, but I didn't have a green. So I mixed them to have a little, little green look with like kind of like a nude lip. Um, I got my little crystal earrings because obviously it's a show about witches. So like, we're showing up. I also have this necklace. This is my Addie LaRue necklace. Some bracelets. This is Moonstone. I don't know what this is. In the dress. So. <laughs> it's hard. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This is the dress. This is also my wall of books that I just put in. Um, I have planned to make a video about my apartment and stuff that I'm going to show you guys more. But this is my wall of books. I'm very excited about it. And this is the dress. If you guys watched my, well, vlogmas, but the, only the, the half that I actually did. I wore this dress to The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I also wore this to the opening of the Harry Potter store here in New York. But it just screams like witchy witchy vibes so we're wearing it it's from nasty gal i'm just obsessed with it it's just so cute and i think it's perfect and then a little shoe action there we are so i'm actually gonna grab i'm out of breath <sighs> i know why i'm out of breath because i just bought a desk that i'm gonna put right here and i just carried it up the stairs so that is why i'm out of breath but i'm also very excited so i'm going to let you guys go and we're gonna we're gonna go see wicked i don't know how to feel again i didn't wear false eyelashes because i knew I was going to cry so much, so I just can't wait to sob my eyes out. Let's, let's go to the Gershwin. positive that I just saw Jessica Vosk on the street but I didn't know if it was her so I didn't want to say anything but then she walked by and I was like that was definitely her so Jessica Vosk I know you're not watching this but I love you and I hope you have a great day do you want to say hi hey hey, hey. you don't have 
say hi if you don't want to. Okay. Hi! <laughs> In the words of TikTok, I am not doing well. <laughs> Hi guys, I am back at my apartment. It's 10.45, Salem, I don't know why he keeps meowing at me. I fed you earlier, excuse me. Hi, um, I wanted to just come on here and talk about the experience. Do you wanna also talk, you didn't go, you don't have anything to tell them. Um, wow. So I wanted to come on here and talk about everything um, while it's still fresh because I want to edit this vlog. Here's how it went. I went out to go get drinks with my friend DJ and his friend. It was really fun. We got like wicked apple teenies. It was like this green drink it's right across the street from the theater. So they have like wicked inspired stuff. So I was like, oh fun. I'll just get one of these because it's themed. It was so good. It was delicious and very, very strong. Got a little wicked apple teeny and then the friend of my friend knew one of the bartenders. So we got free shots of the Wicked Apple Teeny, and when I walked into the Gershwin, I was a little, little tipsy. I was like, wow, that's, those are stairs. <laughs> Went in, they looked at our um, COVID vaccination cards, or if you had taken a test prior, you could also show that. Then I showed my ticket, and then uh, I went to the restroom, and then I went to the theater, and then I cried a lot. So I want to talk about this, and I, mm, I feel like I'm going to get emotional again about it, and I don't know why. So I cried, I cried I cried a lot. I cried a lot. Let me fix this lighting. It's a little, little harsh. I think that's better. I cried a lot. And it's because I just, I just love theater. And like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get emotional, but here we are. I love theater. And Wicked for me was that show that like, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, like in sixth grade, I was in like a course class and the library teacher came in. I like distinctly remember this. She came in and she's like, I'm going to talk about Wicked the Musical. And I had never heard of it and I had never like experienced a musical. And so she played these songs and then I was just obsessed with it. And like, that is what got me into theater. Like, I know it's super cliche, but like Wicked is why I do theater. Um, and I, I got to see it on Broadway when I was like 13 in eighth grade and I had seen it on tour, but getting to go back after, oh my God, I'm so dramatic. <laughs> getting to go back after truly a year that like, I mean, I was a performer and now I feel like it's hard to call myself that, but getting to go back into the theater, oh my God, <laughs> um, was very reaffirming to the fact that people do this and they're doing it and so can I and that was really good for me. <laughs> it both felt like therapy and then I left feeling like I needed therapy. <laughs> but it was just so amazing and the cast was just literally ridiculous. They were just so good. Like everyone was just incredible. The Alphaba, I think it was Lindsay Pierce, was just, oh my God, just incredible. And the Gl Glinda was so funny. Oh my gosh, just absolutely incredible performers. And like, I talk about them because they're the leads, but the last time I saw Wicked <laughs> was before I went to theater school, was before I kind of, in a sense, devoted my life to this craft. 
and like I feel like I understood the story better, I understood the characters better, and I'm watching the ensemble and all of these scenes, and they're all just incredible people and performers, and I just like, oh, I felt so bad for my neighbors because I was sitting alone because my friends got up their tickets before I did, and then I like kind of hopped on the train and I was like, I'll just sit by myself, it's fine. Four people next to me are like, what is wrong with this girl? I'm sitting here like wiping my tears at like dumb scenes, like, <laughs> and then like I, I had been crying already, and then for good happened, and I am absolutely drenched in tears my mask is wet because i'm just crying because it this is gonna sound so dumb and i'm gonna cry again for good to me felt like why am i like this for good to me felt like me <laughs> this is gonna sound so ridiculous me talking to dj dj which is so dumb um but i just i miss it dj dj for me was the role i played at disney prior to the pandemic represents for me a time where I felt like I was doing it and I was where I was meant to be and <laughs> I was watching this song happen and it's two friends singing to each other and I'm taking it completely out of context and it just felt like me telling my past self like thank you for the memories but also like you'll always be here and like now we can go and do things and we can go do new things I'm so emotional, I don't even know what's happening. But it was just, it was absolutely incredible. I want to be in that show someday, and I don't know as who, probably Nessa Rose, to be honest. I think that's more of my type. <laughs> um, because I can't belt like Alpha Bun, like I want to be Glinda, but like I don't know if I can hit those notes, sis. Um, but yeah, I, I want to be in that show someday, and it really, for me, felt like coming home. And it felt like a reassurance that just because things are hard, it's just because you're in a place where you might not be, you know, fully content. For me, when I left Disney and when I, you know, in a sense left Orlando, I felt like I was kind of taking a step back. Like, yes, I was moving to New York, but I'm taking a step back in my career because I'm doing something else right now, which I still like. It's not performing. And I, I know, you know, <laughs> it's weird to say after seeing this show, I'm like, what I meant to do is theater and it's to perform and it's to give people what <laughs> what they gave me tonight what the cast was able to give me and i'm just so honored that i was able to go i bought these tickets in like july and i had no idea of <laughs> that i'd be sobbing now yeah it was great it was really great we left the theater and got to see um my friend's friend his friend <laughs> was one of the ensemble members who understood he's madame morrible and we got this like it was her birthday actually so we said hi and then we actually passed the actress who played Glinda, who was so talented. Oh my gosh, she was so funny. And she happened to be at a TV show with my friend and they like connected and I was like, what in the, what? What is this? And then on the way to the theater, I literally saw Jessica Vosk. I literally saw her, but she like, she had her headphones in and she was across the street and we like kind of two ships in the night. Um, but I like posted a little story on my Instagram and I was like, I just saw Jessica Vosk. I hope she has a great day. And then she heard it and I'm like, yeah, I know. I am out of tears. I really need to eat food. I'm gonna put together a desk that I bought and I have a flight to Orlando on Saturday morning um, to go home and go see my friends. But this night was so needed. And I'm sorry to just cry to you. If you guys actually watch this, like, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm dramatic I have a degree in theater but I hope you guys have a great night this night was wonderful and if you have a chance go go see it it felt very safe I felt very safe the whole time and I'm just so thankful I got to go so I'm gonna go blow my nose because I can't breathe right now because I am stuffy I hope to make more theater related vlogs in the future because I live in New York and I literally took a subway to go see Wicked and then I can go take a subway and maybe go see Haiti Towns Haiti Towns Hades Town or something it's just so weird that theater is a subway a few subway stops away now anyways I'm gonna go uh, thank you for watching again if you're not already following me on Instagram check me out over here thank you Salem that was a resounding go follow me I'm gonna go have a great night talk to you guys later bye